What up? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be an interesting one. We've got a toaster, this luxurious Ronson 4 banger. Check that out. We've got an assortment of different goods that would typically not be married to a piece of toast. But today we're going to find out if it does go well on toast. For maximum efficiency, we're going to go the 4 Oh, it's, it's not even plugged in. So first up, we got um, some yogurt. Yogurt on toast. Toast is coming along nicely. Now we just wait. Was thinking about doing an episode without a hat on, but then I thought, nah. Oh! That felt good. You might think I am crazy, but I'm not. I will be buttering the toast today because only a madman would do unbuttered toast. Mm. All right, yogurt time. Watermelon strawberry twist yogurt. Yum. Now the, the few um, factors that are gonna go into this experiment are spreadability, um, obviously taste, and um, warm yogurt, it's not smelling good. So before it gets even hotter, I'm gonna just take a bite. I'll be honest with you. It's not the worst, but it's, it's not the best. Mm. Mm. This is good yogurt. Man, that is really good. Mm. Mm. That's so good. Mm. God. Mm. Ah. Well, I just accidentally devoured the whole tub of yogurt, but uh, back to the toast sitch. Not the worst, like not the worst combo of flavor, but the second that yogurt gets a bit warm, I'm off it. So I'm gonna be ranking this as we go. This is the bad end. So we're gonna start the yogurt toast off down low. All right, let me just give this a little buzz to re-warm it up. Next up, we got some soy sauce. Now, the theory behind this was that Vegemite is basically like soy sauce, but just salted. I mean, I think. No slice of bread is going unbuttered in this household. That's too much already. Oh God, I'm gonna hate this. <coughs> what is the what is the point? What is the point of this? Okay, here we go. Wow, not that bad. I will say I only got a little bit of the soy sauce, but it is it's it's on the Vegemite spectrum. Not sure if it's a you know a daily go to, but don't hate it. I think we go about here, here, there. Obviously I didn't drown it in soy sauce, that would have um, killed the vibe a little bit, but if you're running low on Vegemite and you're keen for a fix, but you got some soy sauce, it's the perfect substitute. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick thumbnail grab. Well, look, that's as much effort as I'm willing to put in for that. So if any of those get used, you know why and how. If they don't, you know that it was a waste of time. Next up, we got apple puree. All right, that's enough. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this out. Just kidding. Obviously, I wouldn't go uh, slice of bread without um, a bit of marge. So apple puree. Let's just go. Oh, that's brown. This seems like something a child would have if they were left home alone and they didn't know what to do. Okay, we've caked it on there. That was probably the bad idea, but apple puree on toast. It's a bit like a a bad apple pie. That stuff's not even good by itself. Mm, yeah, not really much more to comment on that. Go about down here on the leaderboard. All right, next up we got some um, condensed milk. This stuff's really basically just liquid sugar. You gotta respect the um, work ethic on me to butter every slice. Like, it's not easy, all right? All right, sweetened condensed milk. Can imagine this can't be bad. Like, it's just like Nutella, but vanilla, I think. It's messy. So, oh, I forgot to measure spreadability. Shit. Uh, apple, good spreadability. Soy sauce, not good spreadability. Condensed milk, I'm gonna have to say semi, semi spreadability. It's um, a bit less workable than you would hope. But anyway, 
Let's give it a crack. So here we go. Mm. Damn, that is freaking nice. All right, I would honestly eat all of this, but um, I got to save some room. So, but this is going top end. So far, that's the king of the castle, cream of the crop. Oh, we're out of toast. All right, let's reload this bad boy. Jesus, we're ready to go. Next up, ooh, next up we got some old El Pasto salsa. Normally it would go with corn chips, and let me tell you, even when it's with corn chips, I still don't, I don't really like it. So I don't think I'm gonna like it on toast. But that's the length I'm willing to go for the experiment, you know? Oh, gee. Okay, spreadability, it's a little bit runny, but I'm working with it. Very, very overpowering smell. Yeah, don't really like salsa on toast or anywhere. So, soy sauce gets a promotion and um, salsa is just gonna slot right in there. All right, next up we got a bit of a strange one. Um, airplane jelly, unjellified. Definitely imagining a hard zero on the spreadability. Now, fun fact, in like year five, um, people used to buy these and sell them to you at school and you could just nibble on it all day because it's just really sweet. Just gonna sort of finesse a bit on there. Wow, looks spectacular. Glistening like a star in the night. Smells, once again, also fabulous. But what I'm not sure about is the legalities of eating Unjellified jelly. Jelly powder on toast. Who would have thought, you know, you would you would reach to the point in your life where you're watching someone eat jelly powder on toast? Mm. I am gonna refrain from um, eating anymore, but that was rather pleasant. Not better than the condensed milk, because this feels wrong, like this feels illegal. That gets us to the last one. Now, this is their wild card round, and it's actually uh, that chocolate topping that goes hard on um, your ice cream. So I actually got a, uh, a piece of frozen bread. Because otherwise, I don't think it's gonna hard up on us. All right, let's, let's see how this goes. I almost forgot. Of course, there's a seal. Is there? Oh, it's, it's already hard. What the f It's already hard in there. Let's see if we can heat it up. This is, this is what they did when they didn't have microwaves back in the day. My bread is probably defrosting. Come on, show me some freaking chocolate. Yes, yes, that was a mission and a half. God, look, that's that's all you're getting. This is a definition of um something backfiring. Oh God, and there was toast in there the whole time. Now it's, ah, oh, all right, it's not re-hardening, but I'm just gonna try it anyway. Yum. Tastes like Nutella. Sick. Glad I went to all that effort for the wild card. Wasn't even the reason we were here. Let's just quickly run over the final ranking. You go in the bin. As well as you. Because that was disappointing. That's the final ranking from uh, best down to worst. Feel free to try some of these combos on your own. And let me know how you would change the list. That's it. That's the end of the video. Thanks to the Patreon supporters for doing what they do. If you want to check out the Patreon, I'm actually about to post a video involving toast and these dental um, equipment. So if you can figure out what I'm going to be doing with toothpaste and toast, then go check that out. If not, I'll see you in the next one.